Hello comic book guys and gals, and welcome to Comic Mag Musings. This handsome fellow is your host, Bill Miller. This lovely lady is your co-host, Mrs. Musings. All right, Mrs. Musings insisted that I invite her along for another unboxing. She said, you don't do enough of them, and you don't make me a big enough part of the show. I insist that you put me on camera yet again. So, I acquiesced. We unboxed the last video. We still got some raw comics that we're going to go through today. So please join me as we do some showing and telling. Now these are from my comic shop. I think they'll be from an auction, but could be consignment purchases or could be a combination of both. We'll see. So, made for right-handers. All right. Let's see. Oh, yeah. You show first, usually. Isn't that how it works? All right. What do we have first? Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm very, very excited about this one. Not much of a pulp guy. I do like them, and I do think they're going to become much, much more valuable now that CGC is grading them. But I figured I can't necessarily afford too many Matt Fox comic books. But he did do a lot of pulps, and this is a fantastic looking one. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> this is Weird Tales from May of 1947. What is it? Volume 39, number 11, A. So I'm super excited about this one. You got that crazy, but very distinctive, Matt Fox art. He did several covers of Chilling Tales, which is a golden age pre-code horror comic series. That's probably what he's most known for, for comic books. But he was a pro prolific pulp artist. All right, next. Ooh, just looky that one. It's another pulp. I just finished saying I don't really get pulps. This is another one. Thrilling Wonder Stories. Volume 32, issue number one. And this is from April of 1948. So no, no real connection or reason I got this other than it's a pretty cool robot cover and it was pretty affordable. Cool? It's better. All right, next. Hmm, what have we here? Oh, okay. This is... Conan the Barbarian from 2023, the Titan series, number 10. And I think you kids will notice that that looks like a Mignola cover. So I can always handle that. All right. Next up. Hmm, what the heck is this? Uncensored Mouse, number one, 40 page first issue. A classic collection of uncensored Floyd Gottfriedson comic strips from the 1930s. I don't remember why I got this. <laughs> I think. I think it has some Disney um, reprints in here and they thought that they were okay if they didn't write Disney on the cover and they didn't put any Disney characters on the cover but I think Disney still objected or something like that. All right. Hmm. What's this one? Oh, Yes. So I saw this from both 
Matilda, Gothica, and from Bub's Comics. This is Dark Horse 20 Years, issue number zero. And it's got several Dark Horse characters, but it's got the arm of, and it's a Mignola looking cover. I don't know if he did it, but it sure looks like him. It's got a Hellboy looking arm right there. And of course, the Conan on the poster in the back. It's the only reason that I would want it. But I thought it was kind of cool. All right, how many more? Just one more. All right, oh, did you like this one? Yeah. All right. Next, next one is the last one. Oh, yeah, that's a cool looking one. I think you'll like this one. This one's Titan as well. This is Conan the Barbarian, issue number four. Isn't that cool? It's better. All right. Let you kids check that out. That's a pretty neat one, I think. So definitely the cover by. I don't know if I'm going to read this series. I'm not necessarily looking for new series to read. I've got plenty from the gold and silver bronze age. But that will do it for our mystery unboxing slash haul. I hope you enjoy seeing it. And if you did, I would ask that you subscribe and click that notification bell. So you're alerted as soon as I release new red hot content. Thumbs up and comments are always appreciated. Remember, we're taking over the world one comic book at a time.